the vision actually came several years ago when I we had a church meeting and we said that we didn't want to be insular, so we decided we would start Welcome Point, which was one of our first, which is here. It's about three years ago, uh, Justin and I thought up Welcome Point to bring in people and it was soups and roll and tea and coffee so that the community could come in and talk to each other, you know, have a chat to each other and also to talk to the minister if they wanted to. Then later on came the food bank because we found that there was lots of people but couldn't get to the food bank because it was six miles away. We've got a, a great hardcore of volunteers, the diehards here who've uh, seen it through uh, and even as we speak we have a client that we're dealing with now. The nicest thing perhaps is for them to have the knowledge that they can come here and have a bit of warmth and a bit of help and be put back on track. We took contact with the congregation and they said yeah no problem and they've never cancelled on us so it's been I think five or six years every third Saturday once a month. Strum and Drum is um, a few people that gather together that play ukuleles and drums and just we just drum and strum a few songs. The congregation as I understand it is relatively small but they punch above their weight because they're involved in so many other community initiatives and this has been the, the, the church here and the church hall and all the facilities have been put on the map. Also it's bringing people to understand what congregationalism is uh, and we're getting more and more people come to church because they're realising that the way of congregationalism is, is the way into church. Uh, they hadn't been to church for a long time but they're coming back to us. There are lots of things happening. It's a small congregation but it's so big in heart that we're probably one of the biggest churches. Not in people but in love and community spirit.